Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a fun, interactive music project on Scratch. It's super easy and super simple to do and you can kind of go kind of go full blast once you figure it out. So here's the title of my project. I have music fun. I already picked the backdrop here, which I simply did from the backdrop library. You can do that and now I'm going to select some sprites. So let's go drums. So there are all different kinds of instruments on Scratch. You can see you can click from anything. So I'm going to go with the drum. And I'm going to also going to add a guitar in here. Or actually, is there a keyboard? I'm curious. Yes, there is. Let's add a keyboard. That would be fun. And we can just put that right there, I guess. Or it can be floating, I guess. And let's add a symbol. Button. Perfect. And if you also want to add a singer or other instruments, it doesn't have to be a musical instrument that makes noise. You can make anything make noise. So for that example, I'm going to add a dog in here so we can see how anything can make noise. Let's add that guy. And he can go right here. Okay, so now let's get into the actual coding. So I have my drum kit right here. Oh, okay. Make sure your sprite's selected, by the way. Make sure you're clicking it. And we're going to go to when the sprite click to trigger it so that when we click it, something happens, which is going to, which we're going to code next. So now we can click sound, go on sound and play sound low tom until done. But we don't have to do a low tom. We can pick any kind of sound or even record your own drum sound if you really want to. So that's what's going to sound like if we do that. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. But that's kind of short. Just one beat. So I'm going to add a go to the control and add a loop, a repeat loop. It's going to simply click on over there. And then let's go repeat five. So it repeats the sound five times like that. And it sounds more like an instrument. And you can have it repeat 30 times or 100 times. I don't care. But I'm just going to do five for now. And... If you noticed, I don't know if you noticed, this drum also has a costume, it has the sound vibrations. So you can also add another costume in here as well, changing the color or whatever. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna go with this costume. So I'm gonna go to looks and I'm gonna go to the next costume and put that under the place sound. So that it switches this costume every time, every five times. So I click it and it switches the costume. So it's just switching between these two costumes to show that effect. Or you can also do the color, or you can also switch the color effect, which I'll show you on the keyboard actually. So for this, I'm going to do the exact same code when the sprite clicked. Play sound, electric piano. Very nice. And I'm going to have it repeat five times again. And I'm going to have go to the looks again, and I'm also going to change color effect by 25. So it changes the color each time it clicks, as you can see right here. Very cool. Very cool. Adds a little dynamic to your project. So let's go to the symbol, do the exact same thing when this sprite clicked. Go to the sound, symbol. And I'm only going to do this once since it's a symbol. So I'm going to only have it repeat once. And, but even though that does sound kind of cool. So, actually I'm just going to keep the symbol the way it is. I'm not going to add any effects or anything else to it. But feel free to do whatever you want. So finally for the dog, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Go to when the sprite clicked. And then go to the sound tab, sorry, and then play sound dog one. So we can have that sound, or we can record our own, or we can even pick from the scratch library. There are all different kinds of sounds you can pick from, but I'm just gonna go with the dog barking. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be a musical instrument. It can be anything from a dog barking to music. So that's basically wraps up the project. That's how you can incorporate sound within your projects, making it more interactive and fun. 
So if you liked today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I also should add that if you want more specificness with your music, you can go to the add extension down here and the, add the music extension. And we see here we have the, we can have like play drum for 0.25 beats and it kind of specifies the beats, rest, set instrument to piano, set the tempo, all of that. But that I'm going to save that for a different video for like an actual song creating video because I think that would be really fun. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Join my Scratch Studio if you have not already. It'll be linked down below. Um, we can all share our projects down there and kind of support each other on our coding journeys. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!